everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an everyday summer makeup look using the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics Palette. I am so, so, so happy that I have got this. I've probably had it for about a month now and I I was putting it off and off and off because I couldn't justify paying near enough £40 on a palette but I just couldn't help myself and I finally got it. It is my first ever high-end palette. Um, I have got some Too Faced ones but they came in a Christmas set that I got for Christmas so that I bought myself this is the very first one and I absolutely love it. I've used it quite a lot of times already um, and yeah it is great. The reason why I love this one so much over all of the other um, naked palettes was because it's all matte apart from this shade here which is blue but I feel like you need an inner corner highlight for whatever makeup look you go and even if it's matte just to brighten your eyes so yeah i absolutely love this palette so it's going to be focused around this today also sorry about the lighting it's currently seven o'clock and again i've messed around with my camera settings so if the lighting keeps on going dark and then light that's why also i've never filmed a makeup look before i think the only one i've ever done is like an everyday summer makeup routine that i did like two years ago so again if the quality of this isn't that good that is why. Anyway, without further ado, I will get into the video and zoom in. So yes, we now are very, very close up and you can see how red and spotty and horrible my skin is. Um, but this is the eye makeup look that I'm going to be showing you now on this side. But first of all, I'm taking my MAC concealer. It is in the shade NW15. I got this probably about two years ago, um, but I didn't like it as a car, uh, concealer, so I now just use it as an eye primer. It's always best to start these looks with an eye primer as it's going to make your eyeshadow pop. I also like to put the primer kind of just under my under eye so then eventually when I come to put on the under eye eyeshadow it will last longer. So now with the eye palette. First of all I'm going to be taking the shade Commando which is just this one here and I'm just going to be running it through my crease and out a corner as it's a nice blending colour. This brush kind of has loads of excess product on, so this colour isn't as brown as you're seeing it as. It's kind of more of a grey, but it's okay because when we blend it all into the look anyway, it all moulded into one. Then I just take the shade Tempted next to it. Just put that kind of in the outer corner and build it back up into the eye. Just kind of... Okay then. Then I take the shade Faith, which is this light brown here, and I just take it on the very outer corner, kind of blend outwards, but also blend up into the crease, not too far. Um, so yeah, it's more outwards, but also upwards. Mixture of two movements. Then we're going to take the shade Lockout, which is this deep brown here. We're going to take it in the very, very outer corner, and we're going to more blend this one out. Okay, now the base, and yes, it looks very crazy at the minute, but I will clear it up at the end. I'm going to go for the red E shade, which is just this extra bit of one. And we're going to take it on a more of a detailed Real Technique brush. I'm kind of just placing it kind of where this eyeshadow ends as such. I'm going to make sure I've got all the product. So it kind of comes halfway across my eyelid. And take the Deluxe Crease Brush, which I use for the shadows, and kind of just blend it out. Make sure you don't blend it in because we want the red eyeshadow to stop there. Then just going to add a bit more, and this time I'm not going to blend as much because I really want a nice red definitive colour. To just deepen up the outer corner because it's going quite a ashy kind of brown and I want it quite a deep brown. I'm just going to take more of Lockout. It's only because I've got excess product on this brush that it's doing it. There we go. Quickly blend that. Now I'm going to take this shade, yellow shade here and kind of just going to put it on the inner where the red finishes and just kind of blend it in. This is kind of to create, help to create the sunset look and I'm kind of just going to blend that in with the red, kind of just with my finger, just so there's not an as definite line. I'm going to take a touch of concealer because this is going to be kind of for the inner corner so it pops a bit more. Blend this in with my Makeup Revolution brush. Okay, 
Okay, so now that's on, kind of the red and yellow has been lost a bit. This is kind of a look where you have to play around with it, um, kind of to get it how you want. My eyes aren't really looking identical in the minute, so that's not an amazing thing. And I've just put a bit too much on. As you can tell, I'm not an expert at looks. And I'm just going to take my blending brush and kind of just going to blend it up, which kind of thing. Again, I'm just going to take more of the yellow shade. Okay, now, so I'm going to take the shimmery shade from the palette and place it on the inner corner. Again, just with my finger. I want to create kind of a more orangey gradient as the other eye has got. Just kind of going to take more of this yellow shade. I'm going to take... Just the commando shade that we used at the beginning, kind of just blend it all over. Just to kind of blend the look in a bit more. So I'm now just going to curl my lashes. Yes, the eyeshadow looks do not look symmetrical. But I'm not a makeup artist, so they never will. I'm going to take my Falsies Mascara by Maybelline. This used to be my favourite mascara and I haven't used it in ages. But when I was just looking at my makeup collection the other day, seeing what I've got, I rediscovered it and I absolutely love it again. Although I probably need a new bottle as it is quite dry. I like to use this kind of, this side up. I know some people use it this side up, but I could kind of just feel like it gives bigger volume and length. I'm just gonna clear my under eyes up um, because I'm going to be putting foundation on. So. That kind of primer under my eyes is kind of a bit wasteless at the beginning. I'm just kind of give it a defined effect and I will clear it up. Okay, so if you can see the outer corners, this one's quite a lot more darker. Um, and it's kind of got a more defined effect. So I'm just going to hopefully hope for the best. And that is my finished eye look. So this is slightly less zoomed in. I've just realised why this eyeshadow wasn't working as well as this one did. I forgot to set my primer. So what I was meant to do... Um, just dust over some loose powder this is my elf um, the white one and because it's going to smooth out the base to make sure the eyeshadows will blend more that is why my ad eyeshadows were not blending and I was a bit confused it's because I forgot to use powder so yes now I look slightly weird and crazy because of this headband but I don't get how when I see makeup tutorials people can do makeup without wearing a headband like my hair would just get all in my face so i'm starting by using my real technique sponge yes it is cut in half because this end when i washed it was still really dirty so even though this end is dirty it's a bit more clean i'm going to take my green concealer in the collection palette as you can see it's the only one i actually use and it's literally hit pan so i'm in the search for a new green concealer and i've actually ordered the new collection last imperfection ones um it's just in the post at the minute and I just put this in all of my red places, which is literally all over my skin. I don't know if this does a lot because obviously there's not much product left. Um, but hopefully it does something. I'm also going to actually try out the yellow concealer in this palette for under my eyes. Because I used to use the e.l.f. yellow tone concealer. Um, so I thought I'd give this one out. I've also ordered the Care... Lection, um, Last Infection one of this in the shade Lemon. So the same with this yellow colour. It's a new blend with this in. Just saying, I've also got really dry skin at the minute, so if my makeup looks flaky, that's why. Um, also, before this video, I applied my Nivea moisturiser, this one. Which is my go-to one at the minute. It's nice and refreshing, oil-free, um, it's great. I also dampened my beauty blender, although it is a bit dry now. But, oh well, we will work with it. I can't be bothered to walk to the bathroom. I'm going to use my favourite foundation. I've probably been using this one since... I can probably say nearly a year now. Um, it is the Revlon Colour Stay one. I've got the normal to dry skin. And I'm in the shade 150. Buff. I just take one pump for now. Um, put it on all over my face. I simply use... Actually, I use all the sides. Um, and just pat it in. I get on with a beauty blender so much more than I get on with brushes for foundation. I used to be the other way around, but then when I discovered this, I was like, yes, this is now what I like. I apply a second layer, just one more pump. I like to put most of the kind of the foundation on my cheek area because that is where most of my redness and acne scarring is. When I put this on, I kind of use dabbing techniques. Um, 
I know a technique. Oh my god, I've managed to get it in my hair. Like, this is even putting my hair out of the way. Um, yeah, as, as opposed to, I know quite a lot of people like kind of rolling technique, but I just find if you're in a rush, which I usually am, the dabbing technique just works so much better. I'm now going to take my collection Last and Perfection concealers. I use the shade 2 Cool Medium for my spots, along with the fair one for my spots, and then I also use that for my under eye. I find the, the combination of these colours is just the best for my spots. If I'm just wearing concealer on a day, I find the lighter shade is fine for all over my skin. But this foundation gives me a bit more colour, so I like to blend these two concealers. The thing I find of these concealers is I have to kind of put it on really fast because they oxidise. Um, I've only really been noticing that recently. I don't know if it's because they will get into the end of kind of the um, bottle or what. But I've never really noticed it before. I pretty much put this everywhere to be honest because um, I have horrible um, acne, scar and redness as you saw at the beginning of the video. And again I just blend that in with my beauty blender. I say beauty blender but it's not really is it? It's a, just the makeup sponge. I then kind of just go under my under eyes and kind of just dab it in. Rub it on my finger just to make sure it's all blended and then kind of over my face. Another thing I always find is that kind of in between my eyebrows eyes area. Um, it is where most of my dry skin is. So it goes really orange to concealer and the foundation mix. So I kind of just like to take a wipe. Go over the outline of my eyebrows and then, oops. Drop my sponge and then kind of just blend in again. I also thought, I thought it was just me. But then when I watch makeup tutorials and it is up close with the people, I notice on them. So it obviously just must be a human thing that happens to everyone. I'm then going to do a bit of contouring on my cheeks. And I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt. And it's in the shade Light Medium. This has got quite a bit of a dent in it. I don't use the highlighting shade. I honestly don't see what it actually does because it doesn't highlight. I'm just blending that in using my Real Technique Sculpting Brush. I mean, to be honest, this is a very good sculpting palette if you just want a tinsy bit of definition. This in place using my e.l.f. High Definition Setting Powder. And obviously, whoa, I did not know that much was going to come out. Just by using this puff and then just blend it all in on my face. Oh my god, I can literally smell it in the air. Um... I tend to go between this one and my natural collection one, which I love them both equally. I'm going to go with my setting brush under my eyes, just to really make sure that my under eye is set. I'm then going to go in with my Hula bronzer from Benefit. I really want to try the light one, um, I think it's out on the 13th of May, because this is a bit too orange for me, so what I like to do is I take it on my powder brush from Real Techniques. So my cheeks in a bit. So if I now look more washed out, the lighting is different. I'm in a different position. It's because I've just had to change battery. So what I was saying anyway, I like to take the Huda bronzer on my cheeks and on quite a big brush because it adds a more natural effect. As in, I don't want to define it anymore. And I feel like the brush that comes in this is more of a contour type brush. Just like to take some kind of on my forehead around my jawbone your chin is that what you call it and then going in with blush and it is my soap and glory made you blush in the shade rosy cheek chic however you say it applying it with my real techniques blush brush as you can see there's a theme real techniques is my favorite brush kind of more apply this to my outer skirts on my cheek and blend up my bronzer is. I don't like putting it on the apples of my cheeks um, because I've got very redness cheeks. It kind of just em emphasises the wrong redness. I'm taking the famous Mary Luminizer highlighter on my fan brush, which is actually from the Body Shop because the Real Techniques one you have to buy a set. It just gives such a nice natural sheen, I think. It's not too intense, which I really like. I'm going to take some on my cupid bow here. I don't like to take it on my nose because I don't like to emphasise my nose. 
So I don't fill in my brows all the time, but if I do, I will use the Brow Wow from Barry M and I've got it in the shade light to medium. I'm not going to use it today just because I don't think you can sharpen this pencil and you barely get any. So I don't want to waste it for the sake of this video because I'm not going out anywhere after this. I'm filming it after school. So yeah, but I would usually apply this. Um, I've tried brow so many brow pencils over the years and this is definitely my favourite. The only thing is it's very pricey considering you get barely any product. So instead I'm just going to set my brows with the Maybelline Brow Drama in Medium Brown. I have had this for years but it's still not fully dried up yet so it's going strong. It doesn't do much really but I can't be bothered to fill my brows in. See that's a step that a load of people wouldn't want to miss but I'm honestly not fussed about my brows. I never really have been. Now I'm going to go in with under eye shadow thing. Okay, so it's focused. I'm just going to take um, this Rimmel, I think. So I'm just going to take this Rimmel white eyeliner and apply this to my waterline just to brighten the eyes. My eyes water loads, so this doesn't actually last that much during the day. But, I mean, if you're just going for an evening out somewhere, it will last for that. I'm going to take this accent brush which is a very detailed one. I think it's meant for your brows but I'm just going to take it to kind of do an inner eyeshadow. We're also going to take the yellow shade and then kind of just put it more in the inner corner. I'm going to take the shade Faith and just put that on the very outer. Just going to take the lockout shade in the very inner corner and kind of just dab it there. There we go, let's zoom back out. So I want to finish this look with quite a light pinky kind of shade base. So I'm going to take MAC Blankety, which is an amplified lipstick. I don't tend to wear lip liners. Um, they probably would help my lipstick stain a lot longer, but I don't even wear lipstick tons. Um because of my dry lips. As you can tell this is quite a shiny powder but I want to mattify it so I'm just going to take a bit of loose powder on my finger and just dab it onto the lip. So I'm going to finish this look by adding a setting spray which is my Ebon K All Nighter Setting Spray. I felt like I looked so weird doing that. And there you have it. There's my natural everyday summer makeup look. Obviously the eyes are quite deep and can I say I absolutely love the eyes. Um, quite a sunset look. You can turn it into more of a nighttime look but obviously you can also broaden it down to make it even more natural. So in this palette I used 7 of the 12 shades and obviously I went for a very warm look but you can do so many different looks. Um, just You can do obviously a very nude look, um, a dark smoky look, a kind of more pinky look. This sunset effect that I've done. Um, so many looks you can use using this palette. And obviously um, it's matte. And I absolutely love matte shadows. And I feel like matte shadows probably are quite best for the daytime. I also like even though it's a matte palette. That that kind of slightly shimmery shade is there. Because I feel like I really want something to brighten on my inner corner. So as it was my first ever makeup tutorial. Um, apart from the one I did like two years ago. Let me know if you liked it or not. I am planning on doing a more really bright colour festival one. Um, probably in a couple of weeks time. Um, but let me know if kind of the angle was right that I was filming it at. Um, or if obviously it weren't, let me know in the comments below so I can amend it for the next video. I'm slightly going to come closer so you can see the colours a bit more. And yeah, this natural look. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.